guys, so welcome back to Smart Trader. This is Dias Paul, and thank you so much for all your likes, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you are a new viewer, definitely go to our channel, watch all these videos. And if you're liking these videos, then you can go hit the subscribe button to be a part of Smart Trader family. For the ones who wants additional services, you can always WhatsApp our customer care team. 7892652481 is their number. And for the ones who wants to open an account through us uh, in Zero Dollar Upstock, you can click the link in video description and open your account so that you will be added to our secret telegram channel so without wasting time let's start off with today's topic all right so we're going to discuss about uh, nifty futures so now uh, i've just opened the nifty august futures uh, graph over here uh, so in this particular uh, method i will just share you uh, how you can choose a direction of buy and sell in nifty and try to take an advantage let's say around uh, let's say thousand rupees at least a target of thousand rupees profit for one lot minimum uh, profit where you can scalp out so this is the idea based on that so these are uh, so whatever you learn from my channel is for educational purpose only so not for trading or decision making purpose so always paper trade and practice and observe and try to add your own skills to it or your own thoughts to it and try to make it wonderful so always like i tell you from wherever you learn always don't blindly put your money always try to observe it paper trade it and try to find a better possibilities so i'm just sharing uh, a method because in subscriber uh, topics uh, you guys had requested for a nifty strategy which can be used so this is the basic one which i will share with you right now later on we will talk about the other methods also now uh, this is our nifty chart for august futures so let's say we need a icon hashi over here so let's apply icon hashi all right so i just applied icon hashi over here and after that uh, i would use a one hour candlestick let's use a candlestick breakouts and also i'm using a pivot point standard pivot point for this uh, okay so like you know the indicators are not 100% correct because in intraday it's people psychology people push the market up and down based on their psychology or based on certain uh, situations which come up in the market the market turns so most of the time the indicators fail but still we just use it just for decision making purpose now what the method we are going to use is the basic one uh, now let's say you can see the dates over here 28 27 26 23 so most of the time i have observed these things work and there are a few chances when the market reverses it's not in our hand like you know anyways uh, you can also start observing it uh, i think august futures will get over by tomorrow that is i mean 29th august so when the market opens i think 29th is the last after that you can look into september futures anyways you can apply this into paper trading and if you feel it is great then you can add more parameters or else you can uh, decide by your own now uh, these are the ways the one hour candle has been placed now let's say let's go backwards so 28th is the day so for 28th day you can use the high and low of the one hour candle so one hour candle is nothing but your 1015 candle so you're using a 1015 candle and you're trying to wait for a breakout of that candle you're not buying at any current market price you are buying directly from the uh, sorry selling from the low point okay so if it was the upper breakout you would have waited for the high breakout that is for a buy in this high level or else you would have gone for a sell for low level now this now the market moved towards the sell direction so your order would have been here somewhere here your order would have been triggered and then later on you would have got your targets now how much target you need to book is also a very important thing that you need to decide i'm not going to tell you but i'll just give you a small idea now let's say nifty is trading around 11000 just an example and how much lots do you get how much for one lot is almost 75 right so 75 units for one lot so let's say 11000 rupees so for 1000 rupees let's say 15 rupees okay somewhere around 15 rupees to 16 rupees will make you 1000 rupees so if you see over here uh, around 168 rupees is going for all these brokerages and charges so that is nothing but 2 rupees 25 paisa is going out of your 16 rupees profit from 11000 you have booked around 16 rupees profit so 2 rupees 25 paisa is going from your profit 
so now you can decide whether you want to book how much profits how much you want to scalp out you want to scalp out 10 rupees by giving brokers 2 rupees 25 paisa or else you want to uh, book 15 rupees and give broker 2.25 anyways broker is going to take 2.25 considering all the charges along with brokerage and std gst government charges everything so you decide your target so if you want to scalp out 1000 rupees after brokerage then i would say for current value of nifty you need to book at least 16 rupees or you can reduce the target or you can increase the target it's up to you so you can keep your stop loss based on what targets you're keeping so now keeping that in mind let's say 14 15 rupees uh, is a target which we are looking at least for scalping so if you see most of the cases over here it has given more than that those now if i apply here now let's say one zero 11, 0, 4, 5 or 4, 6 is the sell. Alright. Now from there, let's say 14 or 15 rupees is how much? 50, 60. So around, sorry, it should be. Okay, let's say 16 rupees itself, round off. So it is 30. 11, 0, 30. Somewhere here your target is done. So your target is done here. 11, 0, 30. Your target is done. So like this, you can check in most of the cases now in this case why i use this pivot is because pivot points of resistance and support now you know here for this particular day that is 27th you know this is the candle of 11:15. now this is your buy point so when the star when the nifty came up here your buy point was here you know that resistance is somewhere closer so you know there is no much gap to go so somewhere you would have avoided your stock but still let's see whether it has given our minimum amount so you can you can see the high over here when I keep on the candle. So the high of this is around 11, uh, 109. So if I add around 15 rupees, uh, 150, 125 rupees is the 125, let's say 125 round off is the profit. So 125 is achieved here itself. Right? So on this candle highest is 111.26. Still, you have got your profits of around 15 to 16 rupees that is your thousand rupees profit you have booked even during those type of situation now let's back test for in this case you see here is the order here is the order so the candle didn't break uh, next hour also didn't break later on it broke the upper level of buy over here and target is done now let's see if it was achieved in 23rd so this was a breakout and this was a breakout so yes the breakout is done and target is achieved now same way for 22nd here and here was a breakout so here was a sell and finally market has gone in that direction now same way let's say for this particular uh, 21st this and this was the uh, limit and now it has broken down and given the profit now let's see in this case whether we have got or not uh, 20th was a day when market reversed so if you see market has gone down and gone up the same levels most sideways okay so here you see i don't think so we have got it here so the low is 10990 and the lowest over here is 0977 so almost 12 to 13 rupees it has more okay not exactly 15 rupees so over here was not exact good day now let's see the next over here from here yes it has achieved over here buy happened achieved so like that if you keep checking you will get an idea most of the time this thing works so you can apply as a beginner you can observe this for a few days as part of paper trading like how i am doing this daily mark the levels when a breakout happens buy here target of let's say 14 to 15 rupees target considering thousand rupees for one lot so if it is two lot then it is two thousand rupees all right so like this you can keep checking for the previous days also and try to uh, check for also the september month once it starts you can do your observations so basically i'll repeat again we are going for one hour breakouts all right so one hour breakout candlestick and we'll apply haikanashi over here 
we will just use uh, pivot points just to know if there is resistance now uh, for selling for selling you have lower support here but for buying let's say this was a buy see the resistance is nearby so somewhere i'm scared if the breakout happens what if it doesn't go up it goes and goes down so this i, I just use this for confirmation so that should i take the trade uh, today or not for that situation just to know the resistance and support i use these uh, particular pivots apart from that uh, yes you can observe this and do paper trading from the next day itself uh, when the market is open and uh, try find your findings and if you want to add certain parameters or indicators more indicators try adding it and try to bring the accuracy in a better way and uh, try to find a way to avoid such uh, you know bad day like say 20 was a bad day yes market also was a bad day for that everybody it went almost down and went up in the sideways so market was in the same zone so it was almost like a neutral market so obviously neutral market you don't trade so ensure when the value of nifty is 0 0.20 when the breakout is happening the nifty value is about 0 0.20 so that you can take a proper direction so hope uh, this video was an add-on to a lot of uh, traders who trade in nifty so hope this idea or strategy will help you guys uh, so trade safe uh, thank you so much for watching this video please do hit that like button and subscribe to this channel See you soon in my next video. Till then take care. Bye-bye.